So here they are, the 11 herbs and spices that give us that famous fried chicken from Kentucky, that taste and flavor that we all know. Come have a look at what's in here. Half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of bagel, one third of a teaspoon of oregano, two thirds of a teaspoon of celery salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dried mustard, four teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of garlic salt, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and three teaspoons of white pepper. Oh, we're gonna use all of those herbs and spices along with a couple of cups of flour, an egg wash. We're gonna use our instant air fryer. You can use any air fryer you want. Uh, I like this one because it looks great and it's nice and quiet. And we're gonna use chicken thighs today. Thighs and drumsticks are the best to use. Wings are a little small, breasts can get tricky. Drumsticks and thighs, always the best. You'll need a few eggs, two cups of flour, and a bowl so you can soak the chicken for four to 24 hours in buttermilk. And buttermilk is the first tip to that perfect air fried chicken and that perfect taste. You don't want to skip this step. This is what's going to make that chicken tender and moist and just give you that flavor that you know you love. So let's get those in there. Make sure you get them on all sides. We're just doing a single serving. You can do this in batches. Just make sure you have a bowl big enough so that it's just about covering and you may even have to flip it a couple of times. So we're gonna take that off to the fridge for four to 24 hours. Luckily enough, I had a couple in there waiting for us. So here comes my second tip to making this process really simple. The problem with doing this kind of thing at home when you're working with flour and all this kind of stuff, it can get so messy. I mean flour everywhere. So here's something that I love to use that just really simplifies the process. Get yourself one of these. This is the handiest, dandiest thing you've ever seen for any kind of breading at home. Doesn't matter what you're doing, the chicken we're doing here today, uh, schnitzel, cutlets, whatever it is you wanna put breading on, breaded shrimp, this is the easiest, cleanest, simplest way to do it. I love it. I'll throw a link in the bottom here if uh, you wanna go check this out. All right, let's get this going. First thing you wanna do is preheat your air fryer. All right, and we're gonna go for 400 degrees. We're gonna set it for 15 minutes and let's hit start. So I got a little button on there that says it's gonna preheat and that gives me time to do this. So here's what we're gonna do. I got three eggs in here. I always like to take the eggs and let them uh, warm up to room temperature. I always find the results are just better. Now some people, when they're doing a breading, would put milk right in the egg and I get that, but we've already got our chicken and buttermilk, so that's not really anything we gotta do. All right, that's good enough there. Perfect, so now, we're gonna put our breading together. Two cups of flour goes right in the bottom of our shaker, just like that. And now we're gonna get the spices in here. And then shake it up to mix it around, just like that. The screen goes right back over. Now, you can do it this way, everything's gonna be fine. Here's my third tip to that as close to restaurant experience as you're gonna get because you want that crispy skin. So go ahead and take two tablespoons of baking powder and add this to the mix. When you do this in straight oil, it's not really something you worry about because you're in straight oil, but because we're doing it air fried, I wanna give us every chance to get it as close to that restaurant experience as we can without having to load six kids in the car, put all the winter stuff on, drive out for drive through and have no idea what's in the food that we're making. All of this stuff we can see, we identify, we know exactly what it is and you feel good making these kind of treats for your family, especially in the air fryer, let's be honest. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got this all nicely mixed. You don't have to rinse it off. You don't have to pat it down. Just let it drip a little bit, just like that. And now let's dip it in the egg mixture. And depending on the size of the pieces you're working with, couple of thighs at a time, four or five legs at a time. Just work through the batch, that's all you gotta do. And now, I will tell you, make sure that the lid's on, because man, that's a fail video waiting to happen. And all you're gonna do now is shake. If you've ever breaded anything at home, you know that the process of going from the flour to the egg to the flour to the egg is absolutely tedious and messy. This is fun, get the kids in on it, it's just a great time. So have a look here, we have the beginnings of some perfectly breaded chicken. Now listen, we could stop here and put it in the air fryer, but you know what? We're not gonna stop there because we wanna go ahead and double dip this so we get that restaurant quality, crispy skin, unlike anything that you've ever made in an air fryer before at home. It's so quick, it's so easy, and I'll tell you what, I am so excited to see how close we get to the taste and flavor 
of that famous fried chicken from Kentucky. Let's get our second one in there. Oh, it smells great. All those spices in there smell amazing. There we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. That is perfectly dredged and seasoned chicken. And I'm telling you something, I can already smell all of those herbs and spices in there. Oh, how wonderful. Now I'm gonna share with you my last tip, and I don't think you're gonna like it. We are gonna need some oil. Well, hold on there. Now, boy, you said no oil. You need some oil. Oh, you YouTube fella, you lied then. You ever air fried a french fry? Well, yes. Chicken tender? Absolutely. Potato skin? Indubitably. Well, you know what? They're all fried in oil first at the factory. That's what you gotta know when you're dealing with air fried and freezer uh, convenience foods. When they're made at the factory, they already go through a first run of frying. It's called air fry because it still wants to fry. So we do have to put a little bit of oil on here. You don't have to go crazy with it. In fact, all you really need to do to emulate what they're doing in those big vats of oil at those processing plants to deep fry the food is just give it a spray with a little bit of your favorite cooking spray. If you want, you, you want to make sure that you've got kind of just a, a generic canola oil because you don't want this to alter the flavor of what you're doing. And this is what that hot circulating air inside the air fryer is going to pick up on and turn crispy and beautiful and yummy. So let's get them in here. We're going to set this for 30 minutes, and this is going to remind us halfway through to go ahead and flip it. Now, the reason for such a long cook time, you have to remember that we've got chicken in here with the bones. Anytime you got something with the bones, you want to make sure that you hit that 165 degree internal doneness temperature close to the bone as possible. And that is the kind of time that this is going to use to go ahead and make that incredible, crispy, yummy, restaurant quality, famous fried chicken from Kentucky feel and taste that we're looking for. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Don't you love how quiet this air fryer is? And it even tells you when it's time to turn the food. Nice to know it's looking after things. And then it starts itself up again. I'm gonna let it go for about five minutes because it looked pretty good. It's a pretty powerful air fryer and we're gonna check that internal temperature. All right, so I'm gonna check the temperature. We're looking for 165 degrees. Let's go ahead and pop that right in there. Oh yeah, we're there, no trouble at all. Always check the internal temperature of that food. And listen, we did a little experiment here. We flipped one and we left one alone. And I wanted to show you that because some people like to flip in their air fryer, some don't. I just wanted to show you that the result is just gonna be a bit darker of a skin, but still super, super yummy. All right, guys, I wanna be very transparent with you. I also wanna let you know that we've got tons of great recipes on the channel. Check us out, have a look. We always like to have a little fun. Now let's cut into this chicken. First things first, That's the crunch we're looking for right there. Here we go. Oh yeah, did you hear that? Look at that. How beautiful and juicy and tender does that look? The skin is absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness. Remember, we're shooting for that famous fried taste from Kentucky. Oh, it's in there. It's in there. Wow, I ain't saying that's the exact combination of spices, but I'm saying it's pretty close. And I love the fact that we air fried it. I love the fact that we didn't drown it in more oil. And I love the fact that we can use all the tools we have nowadays to make these incredible meals at home, make them fast, make them easy, make them fresh. We know exactly what we're giving our family. Oh, I love it. My name's Mark Hill. This has been Mark's on the Grill. Check us out everywhere. Enjoy the chicken, guys. And remember, Try it yourself and leave in the comments how close you think we got.